If you love vintage Crocs and their markings as much as I do, you're going to love today's project. I'm going to share how I turn a regular clay pot into a wonderful vintage styled crock pot on any pot that you wish. If you closely look at vintage crocs, they have all kinds of imperfections and textures. So let's mimic that look with a product called Fresco. Mixing Fresco is really easy. It's one part powder to two parts paint. So you just add your powder, And I'm using Algonquin by Fusion Mineral Paint for this beautiful tone. Mix it up and you create your texture. If I could be completely honest for a moment, I generally just use the brush to mix because then your brush is loaded anyway. So you wanna load the brush, get enough texture and fresco on there, and then you just start painting. I myself like to paint inside the pots, especially if I just use them for home decor. However, if you think you're going to plant a real plant inside, you might just want to do maybe the first few inches, just so it looks all nice and even, yet still weathers well for soil. Here's where the real personality takes place. Once the paint starts to set, you can see that it leaves a ton of added texture. So I'll just kind of go over it. You can either tap or you can swipe. It really just depends on what kind of texture you want. This kind of gives it a pottery spun look if you leave little drag lines. But uh, you can also dab it with a rag to get it completely splotchy as well. Let's add a little vintage croc charm. I've got Fusion's Liberty Blue. I've really left the paint quite dry to the touch. And then now I'm just going to kind of either swirl or tap. You don't want it too heavy because you want it to look like ink stamps. I chose blue because a lot of vintage markings are done in blue. So it kind of gives it an authentic feel. You want to really hold that stencil in place and stop when you think you're done. How cute is that? Instant personality. Another fun way to add detailing is to add paint splatters. So I've got a little bit of water. I'm going to wet the brush, kind of go back and forth with the paint and brush to get kind of, you want a little bit of a water consistency, but not too much. Dry the bulk of it on a rag. You can do a test, kind of flick it on a different surface, perfect, and then flick it on the pot. And it leaves little textured paint splatters everywhere, just like a real crock. The tone of your splatter also makes a difference. You can either go a higher contrast like I did, so you can notice it from a distance a little more, or perhaps more tone on tone. If you love a grain sack stripe look, you'll want to add that before adding any numbers. So how you do that is grab a grain sack stripe of choice. And as you can see, they're quite long and they can be a little floppy in the middle. So if you put a piece of masking tape in the middle for stability, kind of judge that it misses the pot. Then when you stencil, you hold your finger in the middle, stencil up and scoot your thumb up and keep going down and you'll have a nice crisp image. Changing your mind on something is easy too. So here I went a little too heavy with the paint. So I think I'm just going to start over again and I'm just going to paint right over and give it another shot. The beautiful thing about working with Fresco is it is using that paint and so that is the color. Another tip on getting an old world look is to start old. Here I didn't even bother repainting this old pot. I just stenciled it and it looks totally authentic. <music> 